Alright, I figure I'll just make a, uh, I guess kind of a response video to somebody. Uh, seems like a real fucking cocksucker to me. I don't, I never watched a dude's channel and probably never watched it again. <clears throat> Tell you the truth, I mean, he seems like a smart guy. He seems like a real cocky son of a bitch. Like, it's cool to be cocky, but, you know, taking it one step too far is taking it one step too far. Like, I don't know. Anyways, it's, uh, <clears throat> I'm clearing my fucking throat. Because, <clears throat> of course, I'm smoking cigarette. Like a dumbass. Um, dude, Mind's Mirror. It's spelled just like you would spell Mind's Mirror with no spaces. Um, apparently he had a problem with, uh, Neptune Knives, uh, one of his videos, his sharpening video, where he sharpens, I can't remember what, what knife Neptune Knives is sharpening in that video, I think it's a Hest, or something, but I mean, this dude just goes on and on about how he, you know, Neptune Knives is a fucking asshole, and he's a fucking liar, and he's got all these expensive fucking knives, and you know, he doesn't know how to sharpen them, and he, this guy says he hates being lied to. Like, dude, get a fucking grip. Like, I mean, even if you're a fucking knife maker, which I don't know who the fuck you are. Uh, like, seriously, dude, somebody made a YouTube video, so you just go fucking crazy for 23 minutes? Like, you need to go down to the fucking drugstore and get some fucking medication to calm yourself down, dude. Like... You got some serious fucking issues. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was funny. Because you were going fucking crazy. And I got a good laugh at how mad it made you. Uh, honestly, I did. And I'm a fucking asshole. Uh, if you've ever seen any video of it, I'm a fucking asshole. And you talk about... Another thing, what did you say? He's talking about how he has all these expensive knives. And he doesn't know how to sharpen knives. And if, if you're a true knife user... Especially if you carry expensive knives, you, 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 you're not a true knife user unless you know how to sharpen it. Well, I mean, not to show anything, but I carry, this isn't that expensive of a knife. It's an expensive knife, you know, if I walked up to a random person and asked me how much it costs, they'd shit their pants. This is a $400 knife. You know that. If you don't know that, you're even more of a fuckbag than I thought you were before I made this video. It's a large Savenza. Uh, I carry this every day. I carry either this or I've had uh, XM18s. I've had, uh, you know, Rick Hender. I'm sure you know who the fuck that is. You said XM18 in your video. <clears throat> I've carried those. I've carried, uh, I had a Jim Burke Custom. I've had Jim Burke Productions. I've had uh, expensive Spider Co's, you know, $150, $200 Spider Co's. I've had, um, you know, pretty, what I would consider pretty expensive knives. Uh, Hinderers being the most expensive knives I've had, and I paid secondary price, um, which I watched some of your other videos, which you obviously think is fucking stupid too, but, and that's your opinion, that's fine. But, um, mine's mirror, I hate to break it to you, dude, I'm a knife user, I use a knife every day, whether it be to cut open some dumb shit, like a fucking shoelace, or a package for my girlfriend, or some snacks because I'm fucking fat, I'm overweight, here's my stomach. I mean, you can see it. I'm a large-ass dude. Look at that thing. There's the Dunlop. I cut up in a lot of food because I'm fucking fat. And you want to know something else? I don't know how to sharpen fucking knives. But I'm, I'm a true knife user. I use a knife every day. Um, I have a $400 knife. A pocket knife. And if I can afford a $400 pocket knife, I can afford to have somebody sharpen it. Um, it's just me. I don't even put the effort forth to do it because I don't have to. I just get somebody else to do it and... Um, they do a great job. I can get a uh, mirror polished edge put on this knife for um, five bucks. If you're wondering what that is, it's psoriasis. Uh, I'm sure you'll have something smart to say about that too, because you seem like a real piece of fucking work. So go ahead and say something about that. I don't know, man. I just don't understand why you would make a video that's just—it's uh, just ridiculous, dude. Like, and I'm making—and I realize I'm making a response video to you. But it's because I've never in my life seen somebody get so fucking mad over the dumbest shit. Like, you're talking about you're not going to come here and, and say that. Come where, dude? He's not going to come to YouTube and post up a video of sharpening a knife? Like, are you serious? What is this, your house or something? He can't pull on YouTube and post a video for the knife community to see? 
A lot of people in the knife community love his videos. I like his videos. He happens to be a very nice guy. Um, but for you to say shit like, you know, he's not a true knife user and he has all these expensive knives and he can't even sharpen a knife. I've had tons of expensive knives. I don't have to sharpen fucking knives either. I can't make a fucking knife cut shit. Can I carry a knife? Yeah, I know how to do that. Can I pull it out of my pocket? Yep, I know how to do that too. Can I cut shit with it? Yeah, I know how to do that. Can I sharpen? No, I can't. Do I have expensive knives? Yeah. A $400 pocket knife is an extremely expensive fucking knife. If uh, You may disagree because you have some, what is it, Sean Hendrick or Kendrick <clears throat> custom knives, and that's cool. They're fucking sweet. But, I mean, honestly, dude, you shouldn't go on saying things like, oh, you know, don't come in here talking shit. I don't like a liar. Dude, he doesn't give a fuck what you like. If he did, he wouldn't have posted the video. Just like, I don't give a fuck what you like. I don't give a fuck what really anybody likes. I try to be a nice guy on YouTube, but, you know, in the whole realm of things, it's really not that big of a deal, and I think you really should calm down or either take that video down. Because I think it was just ridiculous. It was uncalled for, and it was just fucking stupid, dude. It made you look like an asshole. That's all there is to it. And I'm making this response video, and I don't feel like this makes me look like an asshole because I think the general knife community on YouTube would agree with me that you just took it a little bit too far over one video, dude. Like, 23 minutes you talked about this guy and bashed him and said every fucking curse word you could come up with. I mean, you curse more than I do, and I curse like I'm from fucking Boston or something. Like, I don't even know how you managed to curse more than me, but that was a good job. Anyways, dude, yeah, you should take the video down. Um, it makes you look like a fucking asshole. I mean, there's one thing to be a dickhead and another thing to be a fucking just total asshole. Like, I'm a dickhead. That's just my personality. You seem like a total fucking asshole. Well, that's all I have to say. I'm sure you won't like this, and maybe you'll make a video about me. Um, I don't really give a fuck if you make a video about me, though, dude. To tell you the truth, I don't really... <coughs> It's not going to hurt my feelings. I'll probably enjoy it, actually. So if you do get a wild hair in your ass and you want to make a response to it, please do. Make sure you curse a whole lot, too, because I like that, obviously. I'm fucking cursing. Fuck shit. Damn fuck. Do that, because that'll get me excited. And, um, yeah. I don't know, man. Hold on. Let me let my cigarette again. It's just... It's just too much, man just went on for too long and then you showed some of your fucking special knives that you actually have knives that other people don't have like suck my fucking dick dude nobody cares if you have some fixed blade that you keep in that fucking white jizz sock in your fucking drawer or your computer desk like get a fucking grip you obviously don't fucking use it it's sitting in a fucking drawer in a fucking sock in a sheath cool dude you got knives that sit in your fucking room like, what is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> Anyways, let me stop, man. I, you're a trip. I, I might subscribe to your channel just because you seem like a funny fucking dude. Um, I just don't think you should make any more videos like you did, man. It's just, it makes you look really, really bad, dude. It really does. Just like that, that video made him look bad at sharpening. It did. I agree with you. But, man, you made yourself look like a fucking total cocksucker in that video. Which you may very well be. I don't know. I don't know you, and I'll never know you, I'm sure. But, um, you should just take the video down, man. It's it's terrible. All right, buddy. So, and you guys don't like this video, that's cool. You can say I'm doing the same thing that he did. That's cool, too, but I'm not. I'm just trying to make a point that you shouldn't do that. Uh, should I have made a response video? I think I should have. So I did. And uh, this is it. If you like it, cool. If you don't, that's fucking cool too. I don't care. Alright, later guys. Sorry about the rant.